What's up guys, that racing game guy here. Today, or tonight, I am back in Forza Motorsport 6. Today, tonight, I am driving around the GT350R. I switched from the blue paint job just to get something a little more different. Uh, this kind of two-tone with the purple and reddish just looks phenomenal to me. So, I'm going to show it a little bit in the Forza Vista just to kind of show what it is a little bit. I know it's uh, a new thing to Forza. Well, it's it's kind of redefined. Um, like you can turn the headlights on and stuff. Uh, Forza Motorsport 4 had the Auto Vista, which was similar to the Forza Vista, except I think the Forza Vista is even more advanced. So let's see, I can shut that door look around here inside the beautiful interior shut all the doors okay that sound is awesome to me I absolutely love it. So let's see, stop that and open the door, get out of the car. I love that sound so much. Let's go get started. I'm going to drive it stock some and then I'm going to modify it so you guys will get to see all of that. So let's get started. Now I am in free play mode so I get to choose any track that I want and I'm going to do this and I'm going to show you guys all the tracks. So, much different. Some some similar tracks to Forza Motorsport 4, but some different ones as well. Let's see, we have the Bernice Alps, we have Circuit de Catalunya. Circuit of the Americas, I think, is a new one. Uh, we have the Honkenheim Ring, of course, and the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. I believe Lime Rock Park is a new one. I'm not sure. And I think Long Beach is new as well. Laguna Seca, of course. <laughs> That's a given. Nürburgring is a given. Road Atlanta is also a given. Airfield Test Track. That's a new one. Oh, and then, of course, we have the Top Gear Test Track. That's another given. But I think... Just for popularity's sake, I'm going to do the Nürburgring. So I'm going to do it in daytime. I'm not going to do any night racing just yet. So this is completely stock GT350R. And then go back and customize it and do another lap either on the Nürburgring or another track depending on how long the lap on the Nürburgring takes me because I think it's gonna take a little while because it is a very large track so once it gets loaded up here we can get started Nürburgring in the rain is going to be very fun I'm I'm going to save that for a later video, but that's going to be a lot of fun. It takes the game a little bit to load up tracks. Longer than Motorsport 4, I think. Then again, the graphics are much higher quality. So, you have those higher quality graphics and everything, it takes a little bit longer to load. But, that's a trade-off I'm willing to make. <laughs> uh, that's a trade-off I'm willing to make for sure. All right, so I got my Grip Specialist mod on. Um, tune setup. I'm not gonna change the tuning at all, just that way I can leave it absolutely 100% factory. My assist should be the same. I always like to check it just to make sure that way I don't get in the race and then, whoops, it's an automatic with traction control and stability control on and it's like, not even that much fun to race, so let's go ahead and 
get started now that I know my assists are set the way I want them. A lot of wheel spin in first. Chirp second and third. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Braked too late. Oh my god, I went into reverse. <laughs> Whoops. Oh dear god. Oh dear god. Come on, stop spinning. This thing drifts. Drip drifts. Whatever. <laughs> However you say that. Braking. Oh, slow down. The brakes are awesome. Come on, get back on the track. Come on, come on. Fifth, fifth, fifth. Oh, dear God, I need to shift. Come on. Oh dear god. Oh dear god. Just overtake that SLS AMG. Got that Diablo. Pass the Diablo. Oh god, I was looking at my tack. <laughs> I was looking at the tachometer and I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Always pay attention when you drive. The sun makes it hard to see the line, too. Come on, pass the GC40. Oh, that's only second. I thought I was in second right now. Just bump, bump that wall a little bit. That's all right. Oh God! <laughs> so much wheel spin. <laughs> I need to upgrade the tires bad. That's a really hyper sound for a V8. I don't think the 5.0 sounds this like high pitch and hyper. If I can break, if I can break away from anyone else, I can let you guys hear the exhaust a little bit. Oh God, the the uh, the tires that they create as barriers actually like you can bounce off of them. So if you hit them, if you hit them. Kind of screwed. <laughs> Especially if you have a rewind off. I'm not confident enough in my abilities to turn rewind off. All I can do is try my best not to use it. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. So close. So close. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh god. Oh god. I'm sideways. I'm sideways. Oh god. I'm sideways the other way now. Oh god. 
Oh god, how did I end up in reverse? God! <laughs> yeah, I need to upgrade the tires bad. These things have, like, first and second gear have zero traction. And then it breaks traction going around curves and stuff when I don't want it to. Which, breaking traction around curves. Yes, first. Even though I kind of cheated a little bit. I'll try. I'll do my best to stay on the track and see if I can't maintain first. Without re No promises, though. As long as I have at least one side of the car on the track, I'm content with that, I think. Now, my goal when racing is to not drift. Like, drifting is fun and all, but when it comes to racing, I just want traction. And I want as much traction as I can get. Now, if I have to break it loose a little bit, you know, break the rear end loose a little bit to correct some uh, understeer, you know, correcting understeer with oversteer, then that's that's one thing. But stuff like that, where I'm coming around a curve and I like can't even gas around a curve or gas out of a curve without going into a drift, that it kind of gets on my nerves a little bit. So tires are going to be the first thing I upgrade in this. This is a huge track. It's taking me a lot longer than I was expecting. But we get plenty of exhaust volume now. thing is honestly it's really awesome like other other than my traction issue it it's really impressive braking slow down okay now up here I'm gonna try to drift a little bit since I'm so far ahead of everyone else. That was kind of a fail. Oh, come on, stay on the track. So it's looking like the third gear is going to be the drift gear in this. Unless it's a really sharp curve like this. God. I was doing so good. I don't know what happened. Oh, come on, come on. Straighten out, straighten out. It'll drift, but then it won't straighten out when you want it to. <laughs> so little traction. Ah! seem to gain control. Oh god. Okay. Alright. It didn't look like uh, Fujimi Kaido was in here. 
That's a huge disappointment to me. I want to take a GT350R on Fujimi Kaido. But no. No, they couldn't do that. <laughs> Just kidding. It's okay. I mean, there's other good track drift tracks. This is a pretty good track to drift. Dear God, this lap is taking me absolutely forever. Like, I don't remember the Nürburgring being this long. It's It's been forever since I played Forza 4, but I don't remember the Nürburgring being this long. Especially in a GT350 R shooting through it. Yeah, life goals. Drive a real GT350R on the real Nürburgring. <laughs> I, think, I think that's all of our, our life goals. Is I don't care. You have to admit, the performance of the GT350R is pretty impressive. And I'm not just saying that because I like Ford. It's pretty impressive. I mean, it's just like me saying that the performance of the C7 Corvette, specifically the Z06, is extremely impressive. Like, yeah, I have things that I prefer, but it, if something is impressive, it's impressive. No matter what brand you like. Just just gotta be honest. Like, gotta give credit where credit is due. there at the finish. Or not, I thought it was on that straightaway. Oh god, don't lose traction at 150 miles an hour. Oh god. <laughs> Okay, here's the finish. Got it. Under 11 minutes. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> Missed it by that much. Oh, that gave me a ton of credits, too. Alright. Alright. That's awesome. And a ton of XP. And another 2,500 credits. All right, that's <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Well, we're 20 minutes in, so I'm gonna save the build for tomorrow morning. So you have to wait. Sorry, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video on the stock GT350R. Uh, listening to the exhaust and everything. Listen, listening to me rant on about it. <laughs> um, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave me a thumbs up. Comment down below on what you think. Uh, as I said earlier today, comment any suggestions you have uh, for cars or like activities or anything. There's so much to do in this game. I'm just now starting, to, just now starting to touch the surface. I'm extremely excited. So, like the video, comment down below on what you think and any suggestions you have. Thank you guys for watching. To be continued.